Welcome back to History's Hidden Gems today. We're traveling back to the golden age of Dutch science and technology to meet a man who changed the way we see the world. Literally. Meet Antony Philips van Leeuwenhoek, the father of microbiology. Born in 1632, in Delft, Dutch Republic, Leeuwenhoek's journey was anything but ordinary. From a draper to a lens maker, his curiosity knew no bounds. Anthony Phillips, van Leeuwenhoek, 1632-1723, was a Dutch microbiologist and microscopist who lived during the golden age of Dutch science and technology. He is commonly referred to as the father of microbiology and is recognized as one of the first microscopists and microbiologists. Background, born in Delft, Dutch Republic, on 24 October 1632. Leeuwenhoek worked as a draper in his early years and founded his own shop in 1654. He became involved in municipal politics and developed a keen interest in lens making. Microscopic discoveries in the 1670s, Leeuwenhoek began exploring microbial life using his microscope marking a significant achievement during the golden age of Dutch exploration and discovery. He designed and made single-lens microscopes and was the first to observe and experiment with microbes. He referred to these organisms as diurkins, diurchigens, or diergeis, which translates to small animals or animalcules in English. He was the first to relatively determine their size. His observations included muscle fibers, bacteria, spermatozoa, red blood cells, and the flow of blood in capillaries. Publications, while Leeuwenhoek did not author any books, he documented his discoveries in letters, many of which were published by the Royal Society. He communicated his findings to individuals across various European countries. Personal life, Leeuwenhoek was married twice, first to Barbara de May, with whom he had one surviving daughter, and later to Cornelia Swarmius. He held various positions in Delft, including Chamberlain for the Assembly Chamber of the Delft Sheriffs and Land Surveyor for the Court of Holland. Legacy, Leeuwenhoek's work, laid the foundation for the field of microbiology. His meticulous observations and documentation of microscopic organisms have had a lasting impact on the scientific community. So, the next time you look through a microscope, Remember the man from Delft who first introduced us to the hidden world of the microscopic. If you enjoyed this deep dive into history, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more history's hidden gems. And let us know in the comments, who should we explore next?